Houston Cemetery Confessions. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, everyone's favorite, favorite talk show. Bet Cemetery Confessions, Bet Cemetery Confessions. If you are east of the Rockies, call me at 1 800 555 5555. West of the Rockies, 1 800 555 5556. If you are Linnea Quigley, I'll be seeing you soon at Rocky Love in San Antonio, Texas, Linnea. The girl with the big tits. That's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> if your breasts are enormous, call me directly. 21078, never mind. All right. Welcome to Pet Cemetery Confessions, and today we're doing, since by popular demand, we are doing another dating episode. But this time, we're gonna. Uh, uh, what are you doing? I don't know, sir. Okay. Apparently, there's a new guy in this fucking group. His name is Synthwave Steve. Say hello, Synthwave Steve. Before I introduce this guest here, why? Are you? That would sound better if it wasn't so Synthwavey. Yeah. You don't understand the new waves, the new things about neon and lights. Get your all right bullshit out of here. Anyway, so, by the way, yes, Synthwave is the new big thing amongst these, like, creatures of the night. I do not subscribe to that stuff, but all I gotta say is Synthwave is all right. So if you like Synthwave, you like Tr President Trump. Anyway, would you please lower that music down, Mr. Synthwave? You don't understand this music. It's great. It's... Neon. Away. Neon. Away. Neon. Okay. You can see you can't see colors. What the fuck is the only person that can see colors is Sister Dot Mercy. Anyway. Now I will leave the phones open in a moment, but first I wanna to speak to Mr. Allen here. Allen here is the man. He is going he I picked him off picked him up from a bus stop. He was willing and yeah. we're gonna talk about dating advice because this man desperate. Obviously needs to find a date. Yes. Yes. Obviously. Okay. So right. he's right. showing the music of the, you know, like perturbator music and have it ready for him you, when he's what? You can't have sex with synthwave music. Yes, you, you don't can. hear the roar of the big machine. <laughs> now, I'm gonna teach you how to hear to feel the roar of the big machine, Mr. Allen. Okay. Okay. You feel the roar of the big machine, what that means is you give her the roar. The roar is when you have her in, in the bedroom after you give her sushi and wine. So tell me something, Mr. Allen. Have you ever taken a woman out to sushi and wine? No, I have not. That's why you, that's why we're here because uh, you're not okay. getting late enough for you yeah. to not pick yeah, up not. chicks. So we're gonna not just pick up any type of chick. We're picking up gothic chicks. All gothic, right. yes, with the corsets and with the Ooh. the vinyl fetish leather stuff. You I know, know whips and chains. Whips and chains. All right. You name it. All you right. name it. All right. I know so, a perfect song for this kind of thing. <laughs> oh dear lord. All right. Let's do this. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Like it. It off. I like it. You see? He likes it. Mr. Oh. Mr. Allen likes it. I like it. I like it. So, okay. Okay, you know what, Mr. Allen? We're gonna, I'm gonna open up the phone lines so people, so, uh, so people can hear and give you information on what it feels like to have the roar of the big machine, okay. number one. Number two, they're also going to ask us for dating advice. I know the roar of the big machine. Look at this. There's no roar there. It's just minimalist BS. Oh, give it time. Give it time, dude. Yes, whatever. It's going to be perfect. Why don't you go watch Saved by the Bell? Will it get better? Oh, listen to the saxophone. Uh, wait. Well, there was saxophone in, in, in <laughs> oh, um, saxophone gone. the Lost Boys. Okay. okay, so in order for you to understand and know what's going on in the dating scene, I've uh, asked. Oh, uh, here it comes, here it comes. Okay. The full. Enough of the music. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, see. Okay. He is very interested. He is very willing. He yes. is very able. And yes. he's going to listen. So, yes. the phone lines are open 1 800 555 If you're east of the Rockies, 1 800 555 If you are Christina Ricci, what happened to your books? Seriously, you used to have huge gozongos, and now you have... I don't want to know. I still love you, Mr. Rishi. I am just waiting for Mr. Will you stop playing this and wave stuff? I'm sorry, it's fucking fantastic! I'm trying to talk to this... Oh! Death and despair! We have a phone Death call. Death and despair! Death and despair! Death and despair? Yes, that is my... That oh, is my no. phone. Oh, no! You have reached... Pet Cemetery Confessions, this is the Count, not the Count, the Count. You know what I forgot to mention? I am the Count, not the Count. The Count with Mr. Allen right here. Hey, so, hey, hey, maybe this guy has a request from some good synth wave, dude. Shut up, Zach Morris. Okay, <laughs> all right, now, go ahead. What do you have to say to this man? Have you felt the roar of the big machine? Oh, well, what the hell are y'all doing out there? This sounds like a bunch of stupid bullshit. 
Oh, are you what? Are, um, you, are you a redneck? I ain't not got no thing. I got redneck. I hate bills. Oh, what is a hillbilly? Oh, what's the difference, dude? Yeah, what's the difference between a hillbilly and a redneck? The roar of the big machine is what you give to a woman when you're pressing down her in the bedroom. Have you ever heard the roar of the big machine? I ain't think I want no one. What the hell that means, there, son? That just sounds great. Oh wait, I know what the roar of the big machine is, dude. Shut up, preppy. Okay. Anyway, so, um, do you have anything to ask to Mr. Allen or to the count? Or how about to me, Synthway Steve? Don't listen to him. Well, that Synthway shit's gangered to hell, so I ain't gonna want to hear none of that more. Probably okay. The only, probably the only roar of the big machine he's ever heard is a fucking tractor. Whoa, dude. <laughs> That's fucking too much. Well, I, I like that. I like that very much. I'm gonna use that next time. So, do you have any dating advice for Mr. Allen? I advise you run as far away from them there two bangers that you're Run! Cut! Oh. Run! I don't want to run! I Th think I, I think this car sucks, dude. Let me say the one thing to you, Mr. Redneck. You lost the North One, ending the call right now, anyway. Oh my god. That was pretty bad, man. That must have been south of the Rockies. That wasn't righteous at all, if, dude. If, if, evidently. Yes. I don't like these rednecks calling or these. That wasn't radical, man. Well, right. you shut up. This is the year. This is the new millennium. This is not the nice anymore. Well, excuse me, dude, but you hired me to be a DJ. So I I'm did not help. hire you as a DJ. This you sound not. like a Ninja Turtle. Wait, this, this wait. isn't helping at all. Okay, okay sorry, wait, sorry. This went synthwave power? No, this is not synthwave. How am I supposed to hear the roar of the machine if I can't get any advice? Exactly. Now, I'm opening the phone cut lines again. 1-800-555-55. East of the Rockies, west of the Rockies. Do not call if you're south of the Rockies. If you are, uh, if your great 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 granddaddy fought in the south, don't bother calling. If you ever, if you have a total request for some good synthwave, dude, give me a call at one eight five 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 F U Billy. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay, cool. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so Mr. Allen. Yes. Okay. Here comes a phone call. Hey, ah, dude. Ah, ah. Maybe it's a request for some good tubular. No, music, there's man. no tubular. Has there's, to be some good. If there's anything to be. If there's anything tubular, it's going to be from a raft going down the river. This is the Count walking the Pet Cemetery Confessions. What say you? Hi, so I've heard your show so far, and I was just interested on um, what kind of date device could you give an uh, average old Joe of uh, his mid 30s? Wait a minute, this is supposed to be the other way around. You're supposed to be giving me advice, not, not the other way around. Exactly. So, are you? how old are you? Well, I said I was in my mid-30s. Your mid-30s. Hmm. Well, maybe with both y'all here, I can go ahead and improvise now. What you do, Mr. Allen, and what's your name there, son? Um, my name is Johnny. Johnny. Hey, okay. Johnny, as in Johnny Mnemonic, dude? Oh, my That's God. That's fucking totally tubular. You know what? The 90s is over there. It's <laughs> over. Semisonic sucks. But they got back Zima. Oh, they did. They did. <laughs> okay. Where the Jolly Ranch is at, man? Oh, Jolly Ranch. Jesus. H. Uh, you guys all right? Yeah, sorry, sorry. So what you do, you go up to a fine young goth. I mean, by the way, this is about picking up gothic chicks. Are you yes. interested in picking up a gothic chick? Are you talking about those, uh, those chicks that, um, they, they wear all black and, uh, they carry a bunch of knives and everything on them? Sometimes okay. they carry knives. And chains. And chains. I don't know about those type of chicks. What kind of chicks do you date anyways? Well, the kind that, the kind that are kind of normal, you know. They normal? Like what is normal? What, what is normal? Well, they, they're, they like to be outdoors and, I don't know, listen to radio music. Radio music, radio music sucks. You say radio music, man? Like total like synth wave, dude? <laughs> no, no. Okay, what was the last time you had a girlfriend? Months ago. What was her name? Or his name, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's maybe it's a little of both. I'm sorry, Miss Caller, what did you say? Johnny? Her name was Charlene. Charlene? Okay. Alright, so enough. You gotta stop talking and thinking about Charlene. We're gonna talk about a gothic chick. You go up to her, the first thing you do is you just go like I'm gonna use you as an example here, sir. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry you can't see. 
First thing you do is you surprise her by going up behind her and giving her a massage. If she resists, then that means you gotta press down more and be more threatening and say, Would you like some sushi or wine, young lady? There Dude, you go. You should totally just give her a slice of pizza. That'd be radical. You're gonna get shot. Sushi pizza? Sushi pizza, dude! That sounds tubular! Let me guess, do you want to offer her some pop... Pop rocks? I, I, I'm starting to get nauseated, guys. What the hell is... So okay, you know what? If... You know, I, I don't think I want to deal with you guys anymore. In fact, I think I'm gonna call the police. Okay, you call the police. You call those pigs. And you tell them, God lives matter. God lives matter. Dude, That's the new hashtag. Dude, he, he totally hung up on you, man. Oh, wow. I that want was, you on the screen right rude. On the screen right here, God lives matter. Hashtag. As I, quote, as I quote Stephanie Tanner, how rude, man. That was really rude. Oh, my God. Hopefully, we get someone calling us that has some real advice aside from me. Because, obviously, I'm giving all the advice here. You should totally just, you know, Mr. Allen, dude. You should totally just like, you know, when you go up to a chick and say, Hey babe, you want to go out one day and make the roar of the big machine? Like totally, dude? And then she's going to ask you to see it. Oh wow, I've never had that happen to me before. <laughs> oh, we have a Death phone call. Despair. Go ahead. Death see, Death it's Death the popular show. This is Pet Cemetery Compressions. You are speaking with the Count, Alan, and some synthwave faggot. What Do you have you? a request for some good music, dude? Do not listen to him. What say you, sir? Mr. Cal? This oh. is Anaya. Yes, Anaius. I love this man. This man <laughs> has scored. Alan, listen to this man. Okay. All right, watch, I will watch, listen. watch, listen. I will listen. Anaius. Mr. Cal, I, I felt the roar of the big machine. Yes, yes, he's felt the roar of the big... Uh, now tell us about no. your story. How did, who did you pick up? Radical, dude. After how many cheeseburgers? Uh, she, she was, um... She wanted a uh, stick this time. She wanted a stick? How big a yeah. stick? Yeah, she wanted a stick, and, um... When I gave it to her, she ate it. That's interesting. Yes, very, uh, very. Are you, is your, are you, how are you able to use the restroom? Did she bit no. your stick off? Well, no, I, I gave her a stick off of a tree. Why would you do that? There are as many, many, many sex toys that you get, sorry. There are many, many <laughs> sex toys out there you could have used. It, a stick is kind of a little bit harsh, wouldn't you say so? Unless she really likes it rough. Then she really heard the roar of the big machine. Was it, was it a big stick or a small stick? It was a couple of feet long. Interesting. And, uh, interesting, yes. Did you go on a date with And how is that going to help me with picking up goth chicks? Well, this chick was wearing black and she had horns. Dude, she totally she cool had horns. Oh, was she one of those ghost cosplay chicks that wear horns? Maybe. <laughs> okay. So, where did you take her out to, di to dinner? So, you were taking her out on a date. Well, there a goat involved? Did you use a comb, dude? No. Okay. I'm confused here. So, let me start over again. Because sometimes, Mr. NIS, your, your voice sounds a little wimpy. I don't know if you're some sort of DJ at a gothic club. But most of y'all sound like that. Ah, ah, ah. The watch room? You yeah. play that synth pop music? Is it synth wave, dude? Okay, okay, we're going off subject here. Off subject. Okay, so you took, you picked up this chick. You get her some sushi and wine. I, I tried to. She didn't want it. Why didn't she want it? She wanted leaves. 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 Oh, is she a vegan or something? I don't know. She was, she didn't talk much. Okay, that's good. They shouldn't talk. Women should not talk when a man's present. Well, what's her name? She didn't tell me her name. Well, that's interesting. I mean, we're not talking about one-night stands here, but if Mr. Allen wants a one-night stand with a gothic chick, that's okay, too. Works so me. where'd you meet her? I, I, I got out in the uh, edge-of-town type place. 
and I, I saw her just in this field, and she winked at me. Interesting, interesting. And and you didn't get her name. You saw her in a field. She likes leaves, and you gave her a stick up her behind. Her. What, was she what, was, stick. what was she wearing? Sorry. Was she wearing anything, or was she naked? She wasn't wearing anything. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. You gotta be careful with this. She could have been. Stop it. She could have been on drugs, you know. Well, her eyes were kind of squared. I swear. Square? Okay, Square. so when you gave her the roar of the big machine, did, she, did you give it to her good? Oh, yeah, I gave it to her all night. All right. Did you at least get her number? Did you Facebook her? I'm sorry? She didn't have a phone, Mr. Cow. Then how are you going to get back in? Are you going to, how do you, how are you going to reach her again? I don't know. Okay, interesting. Yeah, you're very. What yes. the hell are you talking about, man? It's totally, like... it's totally a buzzkill. Okay, I don't know about you, but I have a strange feeling you fucked a cow. Dude, maybe it was a goat. Unreal, man. Did you have sex with an animal? <laughs> Uh oh. I see. Well, what kind of noise did it make? Yes. Well, when I when Aurora the big machine herself, she let out this loud like bad noise. Bad noise? Can you emulate that bad noise? She was like bad. Oh Jesus! Oh. Bad. No. Okay. Dude, not so again. you were saying you were just bad? Yeah. There you go. Maybe. All right. Well. But, Anias, we're going to have to try again this time. Dude, that's I, a totally unreal, This is the second man. time you had sex wow. with an animal. First time it was a cow, now it's a goat. You goat fucker, dude. <laughs> what's it, what's it going to be next? Yeah. <laughs> Probably a cow. <laughs> you already had a cow. I'm just doing what you told me to do, Mr. Cow. Anias, I'm going to have you come on to the show next week, okay? I'll get your number, dude. Just uh... Yes, after the phones, after this coverage is over, you get talk to Synthway. Whatever his name is. It's Steve, man. Yeah, and I want I you mean, to... I mean, Scully is uh, out of wow. commission, so I'm now his new, uh, you know, his backup dude. Okay, um, Anias, I will see you next week, Anias. Take it easy, man, and get checked. Yes, please. You might have anthrax, sir. <laughs> okay. So sorry, Mr. Tim. I mean, Mr. Allen, man. Wow. Like, there was no dating advice for you, but like no, I said... No, there was not. You want to know how I staring at a girl, man? Just play this song for her. Oh dear lord, will you stop? Will you stop? This is Pet no. Cemetery Confessions. No. I am your host, I count not because. Since my Steve, playing shitty bit. Stop it!